Hey guys, it's Joanne. Today I'm coming at you with a collective haul from a little bit of everywhere. I've just kind of been storing it in this bin till I was ready to film. Till I thought I was done shopping and then I went on an elf spree and y'all will see that video later. Anywho, we're going to jump into what I bought and I'm going to give you my first impressions. Naked too. I know. Everybody and their mother owns this. I didn't. I just bought it. And I absolutely love it. Everybody knows the colors. My favorite in the palette have to be YDK, which is this one right there, and Tease. Those are my two favorite colors. I like Half Baked too and Chopper, but Tease is my absolute favorite, probably because it's a matte shadow and I love matte eyeshadows. So, finally bought it. Then I got me an Urban Decay lipstick, the Revolutionary lipsticks, and this one is it in is the color Rising. Amazing. It's like a rose gold color. And it says Urban Decay right there, and then it has the color on the bottom. And it looks like this. I thought it would be a good transition color from spring to fall, whatever. That's a heavy swatch. Let's do a lighter one. It's, it's just a beautiful purpley, pinky, I can't describe it. I just love it. Amazing color. Um, this basket's so full, I just don't know where to go, but I'm going to wipe these swatches off. Because that lipstick, it's good at staining. So it will stain the sugar out of you if you don't get it off. I bought a sample size Benefit They're Real because the other one I have is almost out. But I've had it for months and months and months. Way longer than you should ever keep mascara. So I don't feel the need to buy a full size. Because the sample size lasts us forever. The e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. And this is just the clear one. I think this is really comparable to the Smashbox Primer. And I actually really, really love it. So, and it's six bucks not to love. I did it. I bought the Kat Von D Locket Foundation and I'm in the color Light 45. I don't know if y'all will be able to see that. I keep the little cappy thing on it, but I love this foundation. I use one pump to cover this whole big face. Back to some oldies but goodies. I had to get some more Revlon foundation. I have one for the normal dry skin and one for oily combination skin. And that's because... I have to mix them together to make it work for my face, but I love it. Then I went to Hot Topic, where I bought crap I did not need. I got this little perfume. These are all shaped like skulls, and this smells amazing. It's called Black Heart, and it just, it smells so good, but I'll probably never use it because I just love the bottle. And then I got a nail polish, and it's green sparklies. I don't know if you can really see that it sparkles, but it's that's all it is. It's just... And I bought green this one sparkle. because it smelled really good, even though the I'm not in love with the uh, skull. I love the smell of the perfume. And these were like five bucks a piece, so. Then I hit up Wet n Wild. And I bought four different nail polishes that I did not need because I already have like 20. But you know how it goes. This one is just a really pretty red sparkly. I have it on my nails today, and it's kind of more pinkish than it looks. And it's really not opaque, so you need like two coats. But it's the color Punch It Up. And I thought that would be good for spring. And then these two are from their spring collection. And the white one is called Elegance. And it's just a like um, chromey white color. It's really, really pretty. And this one is purple. And it's just a lilac type purple. But it's kind of got the same chromey finish. And it's in Candid Affair. And I just really like those. And there's five nail polishes in the spring collection, but these were the only two that I knew I would get wear out of. And then this one is kind of like a coral sparkly. I don't know why I'm into sparkles. I normally don't even like sparkles, but these just like buy me, Joanne. So I did. And this is so, this one is in the color I'm Not Shrimpy. If it'll focus so y'all can see that. I just love the name, to be honest. I'm a sucker. Then, these itty bitty little lip things, and this one is in Rosy Lips, the lip therapy. I love this. I was always skeptical to try it because I was like, what's the difference in it and regular Vaseline? Girl, this will hydrate your lips like nobody's business, and they're like a doll or something, so it's worth it, and I bought like four of these. Shh, don't tell nobody. I love them. I don't really feel like it does add a tint to your lips, but your lips just feel... They just feel amazing, and it smells delicious. 
Um, then I bought a little, like, you know how Sephora has the little kit things? And it came with four things, but I can only find two. And it came with the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and this one is in medium. And it looks like that. It's just sample size. It also came with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Sample Mascara. And it came with um, the Lid Primer and the Pore Primer, Poreless Face Primer, but I don't know where I've put those at. So, and that you got like all four of the little samples for 20 bucks. Absolutely love it. And then I got the three pack of the Urban Decay 24 7 eyeliners, and it's in the color Sabbath, which is the bluish color. We'll swatch it. Navy blue color. That breaks my heart. And then the smoke color, which I absolutely love because it smokes out amazingly. Let's take it easy with that one. That just shows you how creamy they are. That they are, if you're not careful, you're going to break it. And then the last one is in perversion, which is just a really deep black color. And when I say black, I mean black. That is the deepest black I have ever seen in a liner, ever. And then, the last three things are from the drugstore. I got the Rimmel Show Off um, Lip Lacquer, I think is what they're calling it. Yeah. And I thought it was really unique, because if you can see, there's a hole in the brush. And it, like, holds the product, so you don't have to keep re-dipping. And it's just a really pretty color, and I think it goes really well with the Urban Decay, um... Rapture. And then I got two of the new Wet n Wild lip stains, like the crayon top. And one is in the color Lady and the Vamp. <laughs> I love that name. And it's just this real pretty, like deep purple, vampy color. And they're actually pretty true to color. I love that. It's just a plummy dark color. I suck at describing colors. And then this one is in the color Rico Mauve. And it's just a, a mauve-ish color. But it kind of comes off with a corally hue. And I love them both, but if I had to pick, it would be the vamp one because it's just amazing. So that's it for my collective drugstore Sephora. I've been shopping way too much and need Shoppers Anonymous haul. If you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to become a subscriber and get to see all the awesome stuff I put on my channel. And leave a comment down below if you've been shopping. Tweet me a link. I would love to watch your haul videos. I, those are probably my most favorite videos on YouTube. So, I'm checking out, guys. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.